Hi everyone, Brian here. Do you know what this is? This is a common tool. In America, where I'm from, we call this a wrench. But now we live in the UK and I had to get used to the new phrase or the new word, spanner. I didn't know what a spanner was, but now I do. It's what, this is a spanner. A wrench, as we would call it. And it's, it's made for a certain thing. And if you've ever been working on a project and you don't have the right tool, you know how frustrating that can be. The Bible says in Proverbs 14, 12, that there is a way that seems right to people like you and me, but in the end, it leads only to death. And another way to put that is, we may have an idea of how to do certain things, of how to live our lives, of how to navigate uh, uh, the, the minefields of family and work and relationships, etc. But in the end, if we're not doing it the right way, it leads to frustration and hurt and sometimes, yes, even death. God says that we have been created with a purpose, much like this spanner. If you had to hang a picture up on your wall and you needed to put one of those little nails into the wall, you would probably be looking for something to tap on that nail to get it into the wall. If you didn't have a hammer nearby, maybe you'd pick up a spanner like this and try to tap it into the wall. You might get the nail into the wall, but you might have a few dents in the wall and maybe a, a, a bloody finger afterwards too because this was not created for that purpose. It was created to turn bolts as you're fastening things together and to tighten bolts and nuts. It wasn't meant to drive nails into the wall. You and I are a lot like the spanner. We were created with a purpose. And sometimes it takes a little bit of life and living to find out what that purpose is. But God promises that he has a purpose for you and he has a purpose for me. And the way we discover that is getting to know God and asking Him, God, what is my purpose in life? And He may not answer us right away, but if we begin to follow after Him through Jesus Christ, He begins to reveal the purposes for us in our lives. There is a way, there is a purpose that seems right to you and me, but in the end, we're really just banging our head against the wall. That's my message for you, a message of hope from Hope Church here in Bedwist. We hope to see you on Sundays at 10.30, 6 p.m. for our family services. It's, it's a lot of fun. We have teas and coffees and a lot of laughs. Hope you can come. Also, the Bean House is our new coffee house that's open. It's just the building adjacent to our church building by the high school. The best coffee in the area, guaranteed. The best tea in the area, guaranteed. And some great pieces of toast with all kinds of things on top of it. Or if you just want a good conversation, come by. That's the Bean House. Until next time, I'm Brian. See you later.